Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in today's video, we will talk about different type of exceptions in Java and how are they handled differently. So what is the different approaches that we take to handle the different type of exceptions that are available. So speaking of exceptions, exceptions are unwanted events that disrupt the normal execution of our program and they have been inbuilt in Java for programmers to be able to handle these situations, to write some logic what to do in this unwanted situation to be able to program this unwanted situation as well apart from programming the normal flow of the application programmer should also be able to program and inbuild the flow to be taken in case of this undesirable event which is called exception so speaking of these unwanted situations all the unwanted events have been categorized into the throwable class so the throwable is extended by two types of classes or it has two tile classes one is the exception and other is errors so exceptions are those events which java empowers us to handle whereas errors are those events which we cannot handle at all the application will crash in case of an error but in case of exceptions java provides us the capability to be able to handle from this unwanted situation and recover from this unwanted situation so under throwable we have exceptions and error so moving forward under exceptions we have two categories of exception which is you know runtime exceptions and compile time exceptions now what is the difference between these two kind of exceptions the difference is compile time exceptions are those exceptions which the compiler forces us to handle or forces us to place a handling mechanism whereas if we see runtime exception the compiler don't force us to place a handling mechanism or, or forces us to handle those exceptions explicitly so broadly speaking the difference between runtime and compile time exception is that the java compiler forces us to place a handling for the compile time exceptions whereas it doesn't force us to place a handling or handle the runtime exceptions now let's talk about the ways to handle the runtime and compile time exceptions it is true that the compiler doesn't force us to handle the runtime exceptions but then also should we handle hand them or not or should we do anything for them or not so basically there are two ways to handle the compile time exceptions the first way is to use a try clash block around the code that is throwing a compile time exception the code will not compile until we play, wrap it around a try clash block otherwise if we don't prefer using a try catch block we have the second way of handling compile time exceptions which is you know using the throws clause instead of using a try catch block we can use a throws clause at the method level and we can you know basically propagate the handling mechanism or the propagate the handling responsibility to the calling code since we have used a throws clause here the code that calls this method or this function will be again forced to place a handling mechanism for this compile time exception it is also free to either use try catch block or even propagate it further using the throws clause now speaking of runtime exceptions it is true that the compiler doesn't force us to handle this exceptions but even then should we handle these exceptions if we should what should be the way to handle these exceptions let's discuss more about this so basically wrapping a runtime exception or the code which is supposed to throw a runtime exception around a try, try catch block is not a good approach because it is believed that the runtime exceptions occur due to programmers fault so if they occur due to programmers fault we should you know not use the conventional ways of handling them by using a try catch block or a throws clause what we should do instead is place a appropriate check to handle these exceptions for example one of the most commonly occurring exception is the null pointer exception and in order to handle null pointer exception we should not use the try catch block and cache the null pointer exception what we should do is that we should you know place appropriate null checks in our code which ensures that the null pointer exception will not even occur at the first place so basically we paste checks in our code to avoid the occurrence of runtime exceptions this is the way in which you know we handle the runtime exceptions i'll give another example of array index out of bound exception before accessing a particular index from an array we should check whether the array length is matching with that index or not if the array length is smaller and we try to fetch a larger index from the array 
it is bound to give us array index out of bound exception. So, in order to avoid that exception, we should first check whether the array length is matching with the index which we are trying to fetch from the array or not. And then, you know, then go for fetching that index from the array. So, this is the way to handle our runtime exceptions, which is, you know, handling by avoiding, basically placing appropriate checks in our code in order to avoid the occurrence of runtime exceptions. This is the correct way of handling runtime exceptions and the conventional way which is used for compile time exceptions, which is, you know, wrapping them around a try crash block or using the throws clause should not be done here. So, in this video, we talked about the two type of exceptions in Ava, which is the runtime and compile time exception. And we also learned the different approaches used for handling them. To summarize, so basically we can use try catch block or throws clause to handle compile time exceptions and we can handle runtime exception by placing appropriate checks in our code to avoid them. So I hope friends you would have liked this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos. Now, if you want to learn about equals and hash code method in Java, what is their purpose and why are they used? Please click on this link.